of new features in ADS version 1 to 48. The first one is the screen loading. So when you open a new file, it's going to automatically zoom into the appropriate zoom level so that you can see the complete scene contents. The other feature is when you are editing an object, The view that I'm looking at from the main window, if I double click and edit, it will pull in the same orientation so you don't have to reorient yourself. And the other feature is if you rotate the object, the center point of the rotation is the center of the object instead of the center of the scene. So it makes navigating and orienting the objects that you're editing a lot simpler. If you select one of the points or features in an object, it will rotate about that point. But if there's no point selected, it will rotate about the center of the point. This makes it a lot easier to um, grab a point, uh, an object, edit it, and then rotate it and view it from the angle that you're looking for. One of the other features that we are working on but is not fully implemented, this is just a preview, is a generative tool for building chassis frame designs. So in this example, we have a scene with some objects that are transparent. They're going to represent voids that we don't want a chassis to fill. So if we're building an object, say a vehicle chassis, we're going to have objects that will take up space for occupants and engine and the things that the chassis needs to avoid. And then we have these solid objects which are going to uh, represent mount points or fixtures that the chassis has to connect. So this isn't fully implemented. This is just a concept of how it would be implemented. I'm going to click Start. And it's going to fill in just this is just a demo. I'm going to stop because it can't do anything else. And you notice right now it's filling in the spaces it's not supposed to. So there's a lot of work to be done, but I think this is going to extend the tube uh, notching and cutting and bending features by enabling faster design or initial mockups of chassis structures with an automated system. Over uh, When this is working, it should um, be able to try different designs and evaluate them to optimize over time. So this will be a long running process. One of the other things that is working in the background, which is just a uh, utility that will be incorporated later on, is finite element analysis or soft body physics in the structures. We're going to use this to do simulations and evaluations of different chassis designs. It's not implemented, but we've just got this unique feature that's kind of fun. I'm going to select all of the arc tubes, and because the arc tubes have joints that are shared, we're gonna, it generates um, nodes from them, and I'm just gonna go into FEA, ArcTube soft body, and it's going to um, basically run a simulation. I've got a cube here, and I'm just going to bump it. So it's colliding with the objects in the scene. We're just building out the tools that we'll need to do the simulations. This isn't supposed to be useful. This is just a preview of something that is on the way. Uh, one of the other features we have is commands for your platform for the keys for panning, zooming, rotating, just to get started.